Today we're going to look at a simple heater that you can make yourself that'll heat a thousand square foot house and it's something that any carpenter could do. I'm Jack Seville and I'm here to show you how you can heat your home for free. This is a solar space heater and the source of the heat is the sunlight hitting the glass on a box. If you look at the diagram you can see that cold air is being drawn off the floor and the air that's off the floor is in the box and heated by the sun and then expelled near ceiling level at a very high temperature. To get free heat, mount the solar space heater to the south side of your house where it will get plenty of sunlight. Here is a diagram of the box as it would appear before it was mounted on the south side of your house. You can see there is a cold air inlet at the bottom formed by a 5 inch diameter tube and there is a hot air outlet at the top formed by another 5 inch diameter tube. To help you understand how the solar space heaters work, here are some pictures of the heating element. The heating element is made from corrugated sheet metal roofing that you can get in any hardware store. We paint it black and it helps with the visual aspect of the box and it helps collect more heat that way. So the sheet metal is the collecting the heat from the sunlight striking the box and that heat is what heats the air in your home. The principle that the solar space heater operates on is called convection. Convection is about hot air rising and cold air falling. Because hot air has a force when it rises, it will lift a hot air balloon. If hot air can lift a 2,000 pound balloon, it can also heat your house. Next, we're going to show you how to build a solar space heater, as it is described in a book called Magic Machines in a Magic House by Jack Seville that can be found on Amazon.com. Before you build the frame for your solar space heater, you must acquire a sheet of glass. I use a tempered sheet of glass that is half of a 6-0 slider that measures roughly 34 inches by 76 inches and I make my box about a half inch longer and a half inch wider to protect the glass. Look closely at the photograph and you'll see that there is a smaller piece of wood running around the inside back of the frame. This 1 by 2 stop is put there to hold the piece of plywood that will make the back of the box. Now. Mark the two 5 inch holes near the top and the bottom of the box with something that is roughly 5 inches in diameter. Cut your corrugated sheet metal so that you have a loose fit in the box with maybe a half of an inch clearance on each side. So right here are the pieces that are just now being prepared. This is standard corrugated sheet metal that you would buy in any hardware store and it comes in 8 foot lengths and it comes 26 inches wide which is just perfect for us. We can take one 8 foot sheet, we can cut it into three 30 inch pieces, and we can hang them into this box. So they will sit like this, and the reason I put the corrugations across is because it creates more movement of the air, it creates the surface area in the direction we want surface area, so the air has to ripple over this and it gets extra heat from all that extra surface area. So there will be three of these pieces suspended all the way up to the top and they'll be cut so that there's an air space that runs all the way around. So the cold air that comes off the floor can flow in front of or behind these panels and circulate just fine with no inhibition and then that very hot air can easily flow out that hole at the top. Time to install a completed solar space heater. All right, we're, look, we're getting ready to install a solar hot box into a friend's garage and hopefully it will heat his garage and his house. So right here we've got the wall of the house where this is going to go. Here's our cold air port down on the bottom. And here's our hot air port at the top. And we're going to slide this box into place. And as, before it's even in place, this thing's going to be pumping hot air. With the bottom of the box well supported by something strong, it's not that hard to slip it into place. Now we're inside of the garage looking at the back side of the, of the solar space heater and I'm putting on the vent trim on the lower cold air intake and here's the upper hot air exit point. Then it's being trimmed with a 5 inch light fixture trim. This is a telltale like sailors use to show wind speed and wind direction on a sail. 
we use a light piece of yarn just like they do to show that the hot box is working and that it's pumping air which is really gratifying plus we can monitor it if the telltale drops at the end of the day it tells you it's time to close the box at the bottom all right we just put this thing in and it was making heat before it was all the way in so it's going to be really fun to see how much of this large house this thing's going to force hot air into from the garage the purpose of this video has been to show you that there is a simple way that you can heat your home for free the details can be found in a book called magic machines in a magic house by jack seville for those of you interested in building or finding somebody that will build you a solar heater the book has excellent instructions and covers every aspect of the building process. The video is so you could see one and see several of them in different applications and realize that this is something you may be interested in. So you too can enjoy free heat from the sun. And if you're interested in the book, it is easy to find on Amazon.com under Magic Machines in a Magic House by Jack Seville.